Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will generate random number, random whole numbers with JavaScript. Interesting. Uh, it's great that we can generate random decimal numbers, but it's even more useful if we use it to generate random whole numbers. Oh, so if you watched my last video, you probably know how to answer this one. So we use math.random to generate a random decimal. Multiply that random decimal by 20. Use another function, math.floor, to round the number down to the nearest whole number. Remember, math.random can never quite return 1, and because we're rounding down, it's impossible to actually get 20. This technique will give us a whole numbers from 0 to 19. Putting everything together, this is what our code looks like. Math.random times 20, um, and you, that is uh, inside of the math.floor function. Uh, we call math.random, multiplying the result by 20, and then passing the value to math.floor, the uh, function to round the value down to the nearest whole number. Use this technique to generate and return a random whole number between 0 and 9. So we only want to change the number below here. Let's uh, console.log out uh, random whole num. So right now, <clears throat> it's giving us this decimal point, right? Well, we want it to be between 1 and 9, not 0 0.4. So we can do this times 10. Cool. And so now we've got 9. If we can keep running it, if I just change this a little, it'll run it differently. And you see we're getting random numbers. But this is still a massive decimal number. We don't want that. So how do we change that? Well, we have another math function we call math.floor. And this will round that number down to the nearest whole number. So 8, it's going to keep going. It's going to be any number between 1 and um, uh, yeah, one. It'll be zero to nine is essentially the options that we have, and that should be the answer. Um, we can make this really interesting. Like, say you wanted to say you had like, um, like very, you made like contestants, and you set that equal to an array, and you wanted to say you had like um, Bill, Joe, and Philip. We could, we could make a, a function that would be like, we could say contest, uh, let's console. Uh, we want to pick uh, either Bill, Joe, uh, Philip, or uh, James um, from, we want to pick a random one of these guys from this list. So we could say contestants, and then we could say math.floor, and then inside of math.floor, math.random, and we could make the random multiplied by the contestants dot length, right? And then, um, okay, cool. So that would be the function. We could say the winning, we could call this the winning or the random contestant. If we did that, we would be able to console.log out the random contestant, and that would get us a name distance dot length contestants what happens if we just console log just this out Math.floor, F-L-O-O-R. There we go. Okay, so now this is giving us that random number, but this is, this should not be that. Oh, we're getting this random whole number. Okay, so this still isn't functioning, running out. Contestants.length. That should be three. Oh, times 10. Let's try to do this. Contestants.length times 10. Contestants.length is equal to four times. And then, um, if we do that times math.random, oh, 
Okay, cool. This will get us a random number between zero and three. And now if we go math dot dot floor, what does this get us? This gets us a random number between zero and four. Zero and three, sorry. And so this random number, if we set this so that it gets us, a, so if right here we're console logging out a random contestants, um, at this point, if it were contestants at one, it would be Joe. If it was contestants at two, it would be Philip. And if it was contestant at three, it would be James. But if we set that equal to this random number that we're generating, and we remove this, and instead of putting the number explicitly in here, we put our random number generating function. Now we're generating a random contestant with each one. So that's how random numbers can be put to use in uh, selecting it. I, this is all completely unnecessary. The only thing that they wanted you to fill out was, uh, was this guy here. So if you got rid of all this, um, this would be the answer to pass the test. But I just try to go in a little bit more depth so that you kind of get an understanding for why you're doing this stuff and how it can be useful. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.